Hello YouTube, this is the Avenging Crusader, and we are trying not to get butt raped by Bohemia. That is the plan. We are back for some more EU3, and I have played, off camera, I have played uh, several scenarios here just to try out what we could do. I tried bringing the entire army into Northern Bohemia and trying to conquer that. I tried bringing in pretty much all of the American armies and trying to conquer this. I tried recruiting mercenaries, I tried getting a giant fleet, I tried a whole lot of different possibilities, but very, very few of them actually worked, and I doubt that I could recreate them. So, the plan here today is we are going to run away to Norway, because Norway is still friends with us. They're being cool. So we are going to run away to Norway, where we can replenish our armies, I'm going to keep building manpower buildings and once we have approximately uh, 150,000 units we're at I think 140 now or 100 I don't know we're not as high as we need to be because the main problem here really isn't Bohemia because they're mostly caught up with killing their rebels that we spawned over here the real problem is all the vassals that they've called in all these tiny dudes they keep sending a whole bunch of units up here to siege our territory so we can't be having that, because whenever they take it over, Bohemia gains war score, and we gain war exhaustion. More war exhaustion equals more revolts, and we cannot have more revolts while we're fighting this kind of a war. So the first thing we need to do is stop war taxes, because that's increasing our war exhaustion. We're also about to get land tech 22, which is going to increase our land morale by quite a bit, and give us Latin Caracal Cavalry, which is going to be very useful in this fight. So let's go ahead and start retreating. We can support 23 here in Jilland, and I believe, yeah, we still have uh, Holstein as our vassal, so we can retreat up there. And um, we're just going to try and avoid everyone's army. I don't know if we're gonna try to kill um, Brandenburg or not, probably not. But uh, basically we're just going to win this siege here we're going to scorch the land everywhere that we can. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to screw us over in the long run. But right now, we kind of have to do it. So this is what it's going to do. It's going to screw us over for two years. Lots of less tax, less population. But the attrition is going to go up and the supply limit is going to go down. So what this is going to do is that when if Bohemia ever gets off the ground and they come over to attack us in like Mecklenburg or Brunswick, they will take massive attrition and that will damage their armies. We can't do it here in Torum because it's not actually our land. You know, even though we've conquered it, we can only do it in lands that we actually own. But we're still going to try to keep doing it. So this army also needs to be retreated. You guys can go to Skane. And these two need to go back. Probably Holland... Can we not get to Holland? Oh, we can't go through Denmark. There we go. Now we can go through Denmark. Okay, so you guys are going to go there and there. Yeah, it'll support 19. And we're going to let the vassals do what they want down here. I'm just going to use this army to uh, scorch. Such a crazy war. Now, I've done several things with this army before. I've tried to kill off these uh, Bavarians, and I've done random other things. But they always get annihilated, so I'm going to try and stick in uh, Kuban for a little bit. Maybe I'll retreat back to Georgia. Yeah, I'm going to retreat back to Georgia with these guys so that they don't get lost, because I do not like losing my units. There we go. You guys can go chill in Georgia. And the problem with this is, is that all these guys are now vassals, so we can't get a separate piece with them, which sucks. Because normally, you know, you just piece out all the little guys, and then you just focus on the main power. But since they're all vassals, we can't get rid of them. So, kind of screwed there. Um, why didn't you guys go to Norway? Is there a fleet up here that's blocking you?
Go there, please. Oh, uh, there's... Oh, freaking Oldenburg, man. Just being random. Okay, you guys need to go that way like smart people. There we go. Can't afford to be losing more of you now. Discovering Huichol. That's nice. We can colonize that, yeah? And we can build a building. Embassies reduce infamy. No, don't need that. What we can do is we can build this in Hamburg, and that will give us a little bit of manpower and a lot of defensiveness, which is good. It means it'll be harder for the enemy to take it. Right there, see? So I think we'll stay in Hamburg. We're just going to burn these two. We're just going to kind of chill in Hamburg. And there are random rebels up here. Great. You guys go chill with them, please. We got lots of cores. Awesome. Means more money. We need to pay off this loan. <sighs> this year. Alright, so we'll be able to pay it off. We have enough cash. Have they taken back these sieges yet? Nope. So I also realized that I was using my spies um, inefficiently because Bohemia has like 30,000 guys over here. So I was popping up with like a whole bunch of like 4,000 man armies. Instead, what I need to do here... Oh, damn it. Why are they fighting each other? They're supposed to be working together. I need to find a whole bunch of... Look at that, they're both nationalists. And they just randomly fought each other. Oh my goodness, that doesn't make sense. So Bohemia is... We're beating them. They, they already want peace because their war exhaustion is so high and their stability is low. And also they're partially blockaded. But what we really need to do is we need to force them to revoke the imperial reform. And I would also love to get them to spit out Poland, but that's going to be so hard to do because reveal imperial reform is going to be 60 and then Poland is going to be another 35. So we'd have to get up to 96% war score. That'd be crazy. And sure, what we could do is we could we could call off this war and then attack again in five years when the truce wears off. But we may not have five years, you know? Alright, so no, I'm not infantry. We got our new cavalry. They're slightly better. They do have a fire value, which is useful. And we are slowly replenishing our armies. And I'm deciding not to recruit mercenaries at this moment because we have to pay off the loan. Maybe after the loan, if we have spare cash, we can do it. Discovering stuff. Discovering stuff. Okay. Oh, we found Portugal's random island here. We could declare war on if we want. Like, that's a good idea. Looks like Bohemia is still having rebel issues. And they just killed those rebels. And there's 40,000 men there. That's insane. Can we... ooh. We can incite troop desertion here. Which I think means that the attrition goes up. Does it? Where's the attrition? So climbing limit 3. So that should cause them a little bit more attrition. Hopefully wear their manpower down a little bit. And land spies. Yeah, they lost 6,000 guys just getting there. That's insane. Did war exhaustion go up? Nope. I guess 19.01 is their max. So they're sieging all the places that we took. I don't really care. So Sinian Heretics, that's kind of a crazy name. So we could come and relieve these sieges, but I don't think we need to. We'll just let them take it because we have tons of territory in the New World. Nope, not good enough. And we should build more manpower buildings, yeah? That's a rebel. Where's my rebel armies? Why are you not dealing with that? Is there another army I'm missing somewhere? Okay, 
you need to go kill those guys. I don't know why you're not working properly. Uh, yep, yep, okay, so that the rest of these are actually armies. And Prussia actually just got a truce with Bohemia, which sucks. Because I would like to have another ally in this war, but unfortunately everybody has pieced out. Is Munster still my vassal? Nope. That sucks. Because they took my freaking territory. I'd love to go kill them now. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people for me to kill first. Huh. Also, I need to be... How much is this loan for? 77. Oh, I actually need a mint for a little bit. I'm going to pay this off. Wait, is it November? Mm. I think we'll be fine. So we'll get the end of the year before the button goes away. This planet's still 21. Well, Scorched Earth policy failed then. But that would be a bit more effective. Our armies are replenishing, that's awesome. We need, uh, we were up to like 40,000 that we needed back, but we're down a bit now. <sighs> we can kill some of, uh, Salzburg's troops. Or at least try. Lost Hanover, that's fine. Can we scare these guys off? Nope, they're still there. Yeah, repay the loan, please. We're going to kill them in Lunaburg and then hop right back. There we go. Oh, they're still there. Damn it. Stop running away. I'm trying to kill you. Thank you. Okay, and they're going to fight here. Oh, and they retreated. They're going to Lunaburg. Okay, let's go to Lunaburg and kill them all. Oh, they're up to 18,000. Let's not. We can go here, though. And we can make a slider change. Let's go naval or land again. Lose a bit of uh, trade investment. That's fine. And I'm going to keep investing in land because the next one in uh, six years is a new type of infantry that are quite good. So we most likely will not be at war still in six years, but it could be useful anyways. So we're going to slowly gain war exhaustion here because we have occupied provinces. Yeah, occupied home provinces. So these are going to cause war exhaustion, so we should probably try to take them back if we can. So we're going to go to Hanover, kill these guys, and then siege the province back. There we go, got it. Panama success, and how many are there? 21. Let's go here then. As much as I like colonizing, it really has to take, it really has to sit on the back burner here because this war is huge. But I want to keep uh, spreading missionaries because getting uh, religious civil disorder again for any reason would suck. So I want to keep making sure that we get missionaries. All right, cool. We got Osnabrück back. Let's go get Brunswick. There's only 300 dudes in the garrison. We can go through Westphalen as well. Let's go ahead and take that back. Or not. Take it, please. Thank you. Oh, we're taking 10% attrition there. That's crazy. Hurry up and get to Brunswick. There we go. Got that. Still messing around, and this army is hemmed in, so we need to get back to Lubeck. Alright, these armies are replenished. This one is not. What about you guys? What's going on over here? Alright, so Bohemia's here. 
Send, oh, I can't send rebels. Interesting. Oh, but look, Georgia got these two. How cool is that? And since we funded these guys, we can just walk straight through this area. But we're going to go this way because Bohemia has this land. Take that. And uh, Great Britain is blockading, which is great. I like that they're actually doing something useful. Lost Hanover. That's fine. Oh, how many men are there? Ooh, we should win that fight fairly easily. Yes, I know. Everyone doesn't. No one wants to be in my trade league anymore. All right, everybody's going to Mecklenburg, so we should kill Genoa's army. There we go. Lost Brunswick. Lost Sierra. Dang it, man. Why are you not there yet? Look at that, they're refusing to go. Okay, go now. You don't get a choice, go. Need more manpower. And we're out of cash, and we're gonna run out of cash. Damn it. Because they just conquered a bunch of our territory that was making f money for me. That's why. Yeah, keep you. Well, that's kind of on the way. Let's relieve some of these sieges. Damn it, go that way. It's not rocket science. It's fine. We're down to only 8%. Okay, we completely annihilated those guys. Are we at war with Brabant? Yes. Maybe? No. They're a vassal, but they haven't been called into the war. Alright, so let's go... Uh, let's pop down and kill these guys in Lunaburg. Okay, you both have generals. Good. Can we get a better general? No. Our diplomats. No, we're not. We're out of cash. We still run out of money. Oh my goodness. Up you go. Inflation is going to go through the roof after this. Brandenburg's army has got to go. They're way too strong. Okay, we won that. They're all going to Hanover. Let's chase them down and kill them. God, I really hope Rapunzel hasn't joined yet. Yeah, they have joined. Damn it. But we, sh we still won. They're all going to Bremen. More cores. And we killed all of those troops. And they are retreating to West Phalanx. So we're going to send one army this way. And one army this way. Okay, look at that army's dead. And you can go that way now. And no, you can't do that. We can't siege that because morale's low. And we lost a general. Okay, we forced him to retreat to Osnabrück. Are we at war with Switzerland? Please say no. We are not at war with Switzerland. I don't think so. <sighs> okay, because if we are, then those 18,000 troops are going to completely annihilate us. So I'm going to bring this army over as well. Okay, we're not. Or Provence arrived. Wait, one in Osnabrück. They're all dead. Go to Munster. They're, ret they're retreating. Okay. That's fine. And you can go to Bremen. You need to take these back so that we lose war exhaustion because we're already at nine and a half. That was way too much. So this is what we are at war with right now, ladies and gents, and the problem is that if Bohemia gets enough Imperial authority from winning fights against the Hordes and all these other guys, they will take all of this land. It will become theirs. So 
you know, if you think it's bad now, imagine that under a centralized power. You know, that'd be insanely hard to beat. And they're just bringing more people in. Winning fights, I like it. Yeah, sure, send another. It's a bit uh, testy, but I hope we'll win this. Way too close. Okay, you guys can go replenish in Schleswig. We're going to bring this army back down. We're just going to rotate them around. And you guys need to go. Like now. Off. Off my land. Thank you. Can I afford to take Mecklenburg? Probably not. It's fine. Scare them off. There. And they're running to Hanover. Well, we can also go to Hanover. Still going. They're sieging Westphalen. Interesting. We should be able to catch them with low morale. Or not. Or they could just take it immediately. Ooh, I should not have done that. Oh my god, why is it taking so long to k kill all these rebels? Yeah, this is what happens when your war exhaustion gets really high. You get lots of rebels everywhere. Alright, so these guys are about to win the siege. Go ahead and assault that. There we go. Alright, so... Bohemian is not over whatever that is that is and there's rebels even though they're Georgian patriots and this is Georgia they took over for some reason that's weird well whatever I didn't organize this game interestingly enough Bohemia still has not arrived so I'm gonna send some more rebs here try and get a whole bunch of them oh already did rev defenders make it work Revolt risk is still super high in all these places. There we go, that's all of our spies. And you can actually just go chill in Georgia. Okay, we barely won that. They're all going to Osnabrück. How many are there? Like 9,000? We should be able to win if we get there first. No, we didn't get there first, but we should... Yep, we still killed them all. Great. Are you going there? Why are you going there? I mean, own, friend. God, how are they so much faster than us? Are we going to get there in time? No, of course not. Okay, you need to siege that back. Thank you. Crazy war. I hate having to fight all these vassals. It's awful. Okay, these guys, uh, you're still not replenishing. I don't know why not. I need more troops for you. You're doing all right. Scare him off West Phelan. There we go, killed them all. That uh, plus point five that we got to morale from our last technology is really helpful. Our war exhaustion is still at, oh, it's at 10. Ouch. Well, I think we only got the one. Now yeah, we got two provinces occupied. So I'm going to bring the Lubeck army here to take that real quick. And we're going to go to Brunswick. 
And these guys are aggravating me, so we're going to take half the army and go this way, and we'll catch them. And ideally, if we can ever take out all these armies, I would like to siege all these vassals just so they can't create any more troops. And we can't negotiate a peace deal with them, but we can at least get them to stop fighting and producing units. We lost Mecklenburg. That's to be expected. Doesn't mean I feel like it though. They're going to my capital. I can't have that. I'm going to pop in after him and take Mecklenburg right back. There we go. And go back to Quebec. Alright, that's fine. Siege that. Actually, they're probably not going to win that, are they? Oh, they will. Maybe. Hopefully. At least don't lose. First of all, and I'm trying to think on whether I should start sieging Friesland and Austin and uh, Oldenburg. I think I'm just going to detach two uh, infantry, and they can go do it. No, nope, go that way. Thank you. And the small army can chill, and the big army can go to Utrecht. There we go. I need you to take Bremen back, please. Fail siege. And uh, there's 23,000 here. So they should be taking a little bit of attrition, which is useful. Maybe we can get a bigger army to come back down and stop on them. won that. We need to go chase him down. There we go. We lost Ruppin. Yeah, that's fine. They're building troops, but we should be able to beat them because they're newly built. Okay, we beat them, but they're not dead. Great. Go to Galra. And Switzerland's now at war with us. Great. Exactly what I wanted. We're just killing units as they are created. Honestly, guys, even though we are losing, we're still doing a little bit better than I thought. We're up to 35% simply from tons of tons of battles with all these little vassal states. We can probably get that one back. And we can scare them off from Mecklenburg. There we go, that resets the uh, siege timer, even if we don't do anything about them. And I really want these guys to hurry up and get replenished. Maybe if they go to Schleswig. Alright, so we're going to send half of these guys here, half of these guys here, and just kill all of the units that are being newly created. We're up to 38%. That's actually not bad. We could get them to release Poland now, I think. Yeah. Alright, that's not bad. They wouldn't accept up to 50%, though. Huh. Looks like our Rebs are doing work up here. And Mazovia, go away. Teach that, please. And you're gonna fail, aren't you? We lost Lunaberg. That's not good. Um, more manpower. We're running really low on cash, and we need to build more manpower buildings. So we're gonna mint quite a bit. Yeah, 
Hedberg is newly released and they are recruiting somebody. Doesn't matter who, we need to get rid of them. So let's go back and take that back. We can just kind of chill out here and siege a whole bunch of this stuff. Besiege it. And these guys are finally replenishing slowly. Alright, you need to go kill them and then you can go back. Can you handle it? Can you handle it? Please handle it. Nope. Damn. Close enough. How many of these guys up to 740? Oh my goodness. But we can get rid of the siege on Lauenburg now. Lost Brunswick. And we're about to lose that army. Oh, they must have come from Holland. Son of a... Go help them out, please. And we lost, and they're all dead. God damn it. And unfortunately, YouTube, this is all the time we have. I know that it's taking a really long time for this war, but it is essentially World War One. You know, we're, we're fighting pretty much everyone. Alright, be back in the next episode going straight into it.